it. There we go. More fights. Josh Shaw, Siam MMA, trying to put it together again. Well, they had a big win early tonight in Siam MMA with uh, David Miles there getting one of the best takedowns I've seen in Bad Arena, I think. Huge, That's huge slam. A slam with a celebration. In it the whole time, right? <laughs> in it the whole time. It was really, you know, they're, they're willing. It's evident that the Siam MMA lot, they like to keep it striking. They've got really, really crisp striking, but they're not afraid to make it into a dog fight. They're not afraid to get to these difficult situations and come out on top. They're able to win those scrambles and those opportunities. And that seemed to be what was the difference in David Marsvik versus Flavio Damian. Damiano. Damiano. But Josh Shaw, he's got the whole weight on his shoulders right now. He's coming in at a similar weight, so he's obviously training with Marsvik. Josh Shaw of Siam MMA. And again, they're fighting across the cage from the same thing. It's a team against team kind of thing. Siam MMA was against Kelly's MMA last time, and now they're against Kelly's MMA again. Again, folks, that's the way it goes. The uh, Siam MMA corner kicking out the production stuff. Rude. That's nah, <laughs> they in their chair. Right. Good job. <laughs> oh, looking shredded as well in this weight division. Great position. Oh, and those Eric's fight gear shorts as well. Yeah. That's why I'm entailing, Steve. Everyone's wearing them. Apostolou coming out representing another representative of uh, Kelly's MMA. We had Kelly's MMA earlier on. Yes, I it was. It was Sim MMA against Kelly's MMA. Yeah, earlier. it's a rematch of the teams. Somebody's, uh, somebody's got it. You know, that's that's tough. So, Emilios Apostolou. Apostolo. I'm just going to call you Amy, bro. Okay. So, Amy from Kelly's MMA. What did you, uh, unbiased, without favoring me, what did you think of the decision earlier with uh, Rufus? It was definitely the... Oh. It was a, I, I, the, the I, first round definitely went to the other guy. I to, had it, sorry, uh, to uh, the Lucas Gogo. So the first round went to them to only because of the damage at the very end of the round. The second round was definitely all Rufus. The third round, I was speaking to one of the referees, the, the, one of the judges actually earlier. It was the head kicks that caused the damage and then the Lucas takedowns. Lucas got a takedown, had the most control, but didn't do anything. So there was no aggression and no damage on his side. So that's the way it goes. I thought my inkling was that it was going to go against Rufus towards Lucas. I thought maybe the control time would have swung that round. Two rounds to one. But there was arguments for Stuart Davies to possibly stand it up in that time as well. Oh yeah, I kept shouting at him, but apparently the fact we're friends means nothing. Nothing. <laughs> it shouldn't. It shouldn't be anything. As it should. Yeah, as it should. No bias here. That was, uh, here we go. Ooh, looking very focused. Is uh, Amulus just staring through, ready to go. Kelly's ever made. It's coming out to We Are the Champions by Queen. With a former Battle Arena fighter, Mark Kelly, in the corner. Kelly's MMA, pretty new team, but very experienced fighters come from other teams, all getting together, training, finding different approaches. Oh, yes. Here we go. Here we go. Oh, he's fired up. And lots of teammates here for him. Oh, we had some... Uh, Online voting in this one, Steve. We had 89%. Oh, no, I'm looking at the wrong one. 76% to Amalus. Amalus. Could he have chosen a better picture? Josh Shaw representing Sign MMA in the red and black. And Amelius representing Kelly's MMA in the solid black. Here we go. Shaw coming forward. Yeah, aggressive One, start two, Amelius. Kind of shell boxing stack from Amelius. Amelius a little bigger, I think, of the two. Big legs, that's for sure. Yeah. It's a short right hand that uh, is valid. Whoa! Yeah. Takedown. I'm glad that Shaw didn't put his hand out. We've seen the arms get broken that way before. Yeah, on the very last battle arena, we saw a horrible arm break from that, but 
good break for by Josh Shaw. Amelias looking for that Dagestani hand trap around the back. Got it. His left hand to the wrist of Shaw. It's going to make it very hard for Shaw to get up. Oh, well, he does well to Shaw to rescue his hand back. Trying to get back to his feet. Good work by Shaw. Amelias again wow. high into the crowd. Is he strong or what? Oh, near his head was that. Shaw surviving. That was just incredible strength all the way from sitting up. Just picks him right up into the air. Amelius once again looking for the Dagestani hand trap, popularised by Khabib Nurmagomedov. Oh, and thunderous ground and pound by Amelius losing the trap, going for an arm triangle. He's in a very strong position here. He's got mm. all that weight down on Shaw. Oh, beautiful step over to Mount. We are seeing some and skills from Amelius and physicality as well. And now he's just teeing off. He's got big thunderous bombs that are coming right through. Shaw doing well to get to turtle position. Emilius doesn't quite have the hooks in. Uh, he gets him in again. And now he's back on top of that technical mount. He's flattening nice him flattening out. out. It's just excellent grappling here from Emilius. Yeah, it's been solid the whole way through. The takedown, the top control. Shaw's got to intelligently defend himself or he will risk the stoppage. Look at oh, it. That uh, was so slick. choke is coming. It's a nice little roll there. Really hard to secure it though. Sure, it's just he's in a thunderstorm, Steve. There's still a minute left. This has been a flattened out two minutes. And he's back on the back, flattened out. Referee Stuart Davis having a close he's look at this. Just a few more from Milios is probably going to give it away. Shaw doing well to build himself back up, but there's the stoppage. Stuart Davis has seen enough. I think it was a good stoppage. This is amateur MMA. He took a lot of damage. He did. There was very few. Un you went on it, they were all unanswered punches there and it was just again you don't want the you don't want a fighter because fighters will just continue to fight you don't want them to yeah. take damage that is unnecessary Emilios just incredible strength there in the clinch big double leg that he lifts him right up into the sky and slams him down and just continues to transition between mount and back mount and back this little gator roll here in the headlock position was absolutely brilliant and abs I think Emilios has got a very strong future in that <laughs> lightweight division wow what a performance for the Kelly's ever may stand out incredible he is one to watch so aggressive so big with the takedown so and very technical not not wild and aggressive just correct Josh Shaw does it. he's been through the tumble drive hasn't he it's just wasn't what he's expecting no, it's just very very fast all over you like a rash. That was an MMA clinic put on by the Kelly's MMA fighter. Now we're gonna have to go to Chris with a short interview, but it'd be great to know how Emilios wants to take this forward, where he would like to go with it, and which fighters he might be calling out next. Honestly, always have a name on your lips, folks, for when you went get a victory, because somebody wants to hear their name and they'll come for you. What a performance. Yeah, I hope he gets Pretty on that mic, pulls the right, out the whole division. The right music, the right <laughs> music to go with it, I think. <laughs> it's very, uh, yeah, good. That's a confident playlist. Oh, yeah. Coming out to We Are The Champions is like, you Conceive, have... Conceive, believe, achieve, baby. Conceive, believe, believe, achieve. <laughs> we'll be going over to Chris from MMA UK for an interview in just a moment. Wow. Coming up next, we have some absolutely fantastic fighters. We have uh, Jan Kurlashin taking on Aidan Bailey. And the return of positive strength BJJ from High Wycombe. Taking on another member of Broadway MMA earlier. Earlier tonight, Broadway MMA just lost a match. The production crew sending the fire over for our interview with Chris. Very excited to get that. Very good feedback, don't worry about that. <laughs> we couldn't really be better about it, could we? What's it? There's wine and cake, Steve. There's wine and cake. We can do this. 
What? What? There's wine and cake. There's wine and cake. Oh god. Wine and cake. I want wine and cake. What's did going on, Kev? Did you enter, enter the raffle? Is there a raffle? Oh shit! There's wine and cake. Chris Simpson here with Emilio Postuas. Um, what a performance. I can't really say much more than that. Um, as soon as you got that first takedown where you give him some serious air miles, um, it, it, was, it was plain sailing from there. You, you must be over the moon with that one, Emilio. I am, but I'm not surprised, man. I've put the work in. A lot of people don't put the work in and they expect the results. I've been training three times a day for the last four months. You know, it's, it's not an easy game, but well, you got to do it if you want to win, man. And I, I want to get a couple more under me, and then I want a chance for gold, man. I want that belt. Give me three more fights, two more fights, and I'm coming for that belt, man. No, no joking. I, I want it. As soon as you got him on the floor and um, and you got control of his back, did you know that that was the beginning of the end and you were going to finish him there? As soon as I landed with my first right cross, I knew I was going to win. Upstairs, I, I was just visioning everything. I, I wanted the fight to go on a bit longer, but. I've got to finish, so I can't complain about that. Yeah. I wanted to get a bit more experience in there, but I'm just, I'm just happy I've done it, man. Yeah. Right, and I saw that moment over there you had in the fight, how were your friends and your family? Yeah. How much does that mean to you, and, and how much does that spur you on uh, every day? It means everything to me, man. Like, I, I couldn't care about any of these people. No offense to them, but I care about my family, my girlfriend, my friends that have come all the way from Bradford to watch me. I wanted to make everyone happy and make everyone proud. And my coach, my coaches, I couldn't have done it without them. You know, especially Mark Kelly. He's put everything in for me. Every single day for the last two years, he's trained me non-stop. So I want to say a big shout out to him. Well, you're definitely going to turn some heads with that performance, yeah. but thank you very much, Emilios. Uh, great performance. You've yeah. got to take care now, buddy. Yeah, thank yeah. you very much, guys. Cheers.